my main hope is that we we get um, artists from all over the world and that we get artists as well at various various stages of their career. I think for me it would be very interesting to, to see how artists, they balance the innovation but at the same time the, the reference towards old, uh, old masters. What I'm looking for is evidence of a visual literacy, is evidence that an artist has looked and thought and responded to art that already exists. People don't understand that you can paint a beautiful image as well as transfer an amazing idea. It seems to be one or the other for the last 30 or so years. And I think artists should be reintroduced to the fact that we are all from, we all have great long histories in art. Yes, Baudelaire said that the most important thing is that art should be of its time. I agree completely, but that does not exclude the possibility of making art now that has some sense of what came before us. I am um, more of the idea that you need to be able to uh, um, stamp a little bit on the past to be able to create something new. We want to see artists who are making art that is generated by art that is already in existence. This prize is about encouraging innovative people to keep an eye cocked on the art that has come before them. You need that process of um, selection, uh, of promotion, so if it's a way to bring up some new talents and I can do my part of it, why not? What it's trying to achieve really is an intelligent and provocative and enjoyable exhibition of new work that is connected to various visual traditions. For me it would be very important to see a variety of media and variety of approaches towards the notion of old masters. What I'm looking to avoid is pastiche because so many artists, and I've seen so many doing this, so many artists will look at the past, will look at the great figures of the past, and the work never lifts above just imitation or pastiche. And that, if I come across something that I think is pastiche, it will go straight on the floor. Entrants for the competition this year can get some valuable prompts from those who have won the Young Masters in 2009 and 10. Luis Barber um, is hugely interested in the life of the past, so typically he took the art opening in ten years and the Duke of Brabant at a private view and using exactly the same poses substituted 21st century figures for those 17th century men in black cloaks and hats. Those parallels are a fantastically amusing way of investigating the life of the past. On that Charlotte Bracegirdle is very skilled at removing figures from well-known old master paintings. She took the girl on a swing out of Fragonard's picture, leaving you just with the silent space. Does it have an 18th century feeling to it, or does it have a 21st century feeling? It's a very good line of inquiry. Hector de, de Gregorio de, made sculptures of hyper-realist muscular power, of which Michelangelo um, would have been proud. The prize has just gone, fascinatingly, to the Ghost of a Dream duo um, from North America, who make art out of used lottery tickets. They are driven by the dreamland in which gamblers on the lottery live, so they've made cars out of lottery tickets, hotel rooms, palm trees, that fantastic universe which isn't ours but which might be by the click or the fall of a ball in a machine on BBC One. That's an art which was unimaginable 20 years ago. There are so many angles that the past offers for an artist to follow in 2012, to cut all that off in the name of being contemporary, pure and simple, 
It's a mistake. There's a whole world of possibility you can enter. We could be completely abstract and have no um, uh, sort of skill in how it's, how it's put across onto, onto the canvas of the page or, or installation, but yet reference back to cultural ideas that we either share or can be easily imparted. It doesn't have to be just about the human condition, which most good art is. This is the kind of thing that um, I enjoy looking at. Um, art is a very sophisticated language and art has been made ever since humans were humans. And since then, artists have always looked at art that already is in existence, either to be influenced by it or to reject it, to laugh at it, to deride it, to mock it, to be inspired by it, to be provoked by it. And I find this is a, a, a very enjoyable way of actually looking at new art to see where it comes from, to see where it sits within the different visual traditions that already exist. Get the best out of yourself. Go as far as you can. Don't um, think about um, conforming yourself or about what you think will please or whatever. Just give the best of your own guts.